Jacob Lawrence was one of the most important American artists of the 20th century, and his subject matter was decidedly American, documenting the African-American experience and life in Harlem. And over the course of his career, he often painted in a series, exploring different subject matters by making multiple paintings. In fact, over the course of his lifetime, he painted 10 different series, and all of these remain intact, except for one. So today we're gonna to explore why this one series was broken up in a curator's attempt to bring them back together. So let's get into it. Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. My name is Christopher West and here we talk about modern and contemporary art and design. And I am back almost thawed out from yesterday where I had to wait outside in sub-zero temperatures for an estate sale to pick up a Paul Evans cabinet. A little time by the fire, a little snifter of whiskey, and I'm about back to normal. So today, let's talk about one of my favorites, Jacob Lawrence. Lawrence lived during an interesting and tumultuous time in America, particularly if you were a black man. His interest in the art started after moving to Harlem when he was 13. After studying under important artists like Charles Alston and Augusta Savage, and then working for the WPA, he would start to develop his signature style. Lawrence was interested in color and history. He also wanted to document the African-American experience and his life in Harlem. Lawrence often worked in series, creating 10 different series over the course of his life. The most famous of these is the Migration Series. This series portrayed the Great Migration, when hundreds of thousands of African Americans moved from the rural South to the urban North after World War I. But he also did a war series, which captured his experience during World War II, as well as series related to historic figures like Harriet Tubman and Frederick Douglass. And even at a time when black artists were often pushed towards the periphery of the art world in this country, museums and collectors recognized the importance of this work. So all of these series remained intact. For example, the entirety of his migration series was purchased jointly by the Phillips Collection in DC and MoMA in New York. Hampton University acquired all 31 panels of his Harriet Tubman series. But there was one, the Struggle series, painted between 1954 and 1956, whose 30 panels would be broken up. This series was painted to show how women and people of color, two groups often left out of the pages of the history books, helped shape the founding of our nation. Its full title was Struggle, from the History of the American People, and as art dealer, Charles Allen showcased the series twice at his gallery in the late 1950s. He had offered it to many museums and institutions at the time, but found no takers. This was the height of the civil rights movement, and also the era of McCarthy. It is thought that the politics of the time might have diminished its initial reception. So the series was ultimately sold to a private collector, with no restrictions on keeping it together, and eventually he started selling it off piece by piece. And it was because this series did not stay together that there was very little scholarship written about it. Fast forward nearly 60 years, and the Peabody Essex Museum in Salem, Massachusetts, led by curator Lydia Gordon, tried to fix that. In a curatorial triumph, they were able to reunite 25 of the 30 panels. They knew about the five missing paintings from an inventory list dating back to when the paintings were first shown in New York. They actually had pictures of three of the five missing works. So for the exhibition, when there was no visual documentation of the work, they hung an empty frame on the wall. You can see this in the virtual walkthrough of the exhibition that was produced by the Peabody Essex. This was an important exhibition, as it represented the first time these works had been brought together since the couple of years after they were first painted. The exhibition was scheduled to travel across the country, and one of those stops was New York's Metropolitan Museum. The exhibition attracted thousands of visitors, much like every exhibition at the Met. But there was one woman in particular who took special notice. She took in the Jacob Lawrence show, learned about this series he had painted more than six decades prior, and also about the five paintings that remained missing. She thought of her friend who lived just on the other side of the park from the Met, 
in a painting that had been hanging in her living room for decades. She immediately contacted her, and this set the wheels in motion. You see, in 1960, one of the panels, panel 16 to be precise, was given to a charity auction to help benefit a music school. It was purchased by a young couple in their 20s. They were art lovers, but never considered themselves art collectors. Panel 16 would hang in their home for the next 60 years. So after her friend reached out, it wasn't long before a curator from the Met made a visit. After an inspection and some research, Panel 16 would join its 25 siblings and hang proudly at the Met for the last two weeks of the exhibition. It would also continue on this tour as the exhibition headed to Birmingham, Seattle, and DC. And not long after, another panel, Panel 28, was also discovered in New York City. Panel 28 was titled, Immigrants Admitted from All Countries. And it portrays a message of hope and promise as the United States welcomed immigrants in the first half of the 19th century. The current owner inherited the painting through family members who, like the figures depicted in the painting, were also immigrants to America. So next time you're at a friend's house, maybe take a special note of what's hanging on their walls. There are still three panels missing from the series, so you never know. If you like art and design, please consider subscribing to this channel and join in the discussion down in the comments below. I'll be back soon and look forward to seeing you on the next one. Ciao.